chingada, brujo, falta una copera. Está aquí por eso, está aquí por eso. Y tengo su hueso, cabrones. Este no es de España. ¡Vamos a tocar! Pinches putos cabrones, bienvenidos otra vez más a Wakawit Internacional aquí en Wakawit. Un eh, eh, invitado especial viene directo desde Estados Unidos. The King, the Man, the Legend, Phil Anselmo. What's up, Phil? Thank you for having me. All right. Pero no viene solo, viene también con su banda de Nigo. What's up, guys? Yeah. Nice. Uh, <coughs> so, Phil, yeah. yes, so sir. what's your first memories about smoke, starting smoking marijuana? Oh, Lord. I was a very young boy, <laughs> and uh, I had, um, let's just say, the people around me uh, growing up, they all partook in the weed okay you know so uh you know back when my mom was wild she'd smoke some weed you know and my father when i'd see him he would be smoking weed my stepfather later he was definitely smoking weed so <laughs> i was i was i was raised around the shit so i mean when i was a kid the smell of weed was so good it was so great now the first time i can remember ever getting stoned. I was with a friend of mine after school and we went to his house after school and he had some weed and we smoked it and the next thing I know I was rolling on the fucking kitchen floor laughing my ass off and I was like, you know what? This is what it's like to be stoned. I get it now, so. So let's talk a little bit about your present. You have been touring for the last month, playing yeah. with the Legals, but a special Pantera set. You came to Latin America. Now you just came from Europe, that it was massive yeah. success. And now you're back in Latin America. So how is it the experience of, of playing these songs again? And uh, how has been the reaction from the audience? It's uh, a great experience. And I gotta always give my illegals here big props because i know we did not start this band to be playing pantera songs specifically um that came down to a last minute decision after we found out that vince died yeah uh really we just had about a, a week and a week and a half to give tribute you know to yeah. get to, to to make it right and and give tribute and uh, so me Uh, the way I see it, it's like we did most of our practicing at the early gigs, you know, getting right. shit right, you know. So, you know, it's gotten better and better and better as, as time goes on. And like you say, we've been touring all of this year. Yeah. So I've seen these crazy videos in Europe, like yeah, Exit for, Festival, yeah, Serbia, yeah, yeah, amazing yeah. crowds. But the best crowds in Latin America, man. Yeah, you I like mean, the Latin American audience? That's why we're back. That's why we're back. Normally, yeah. I would do South America once yeah. a year. Or once But now that you have some year. Latinos in the illegals, ha! you gotta give a chance to those guys. Well, hell. <laughs> But they should experience the, these fucking crowds, man, because honestly, on the planet Earth right now, there's only a handful of audiences that are just what you would describe as insane. Yeah. And if it's a handful, These four fingers are in Latin America. Let's just say that. So, That's great. Yeah. So. But to answer one more thing, yeah. when I see the young people these days. Yeah. The new kids that never experienced it, Pantera before. Exactly. The children of the original Pantera fans come out and experience this stuff. I, I love it. I love it, man. I love seeing the new blood yeah. and the young blood go fucking crazy. It's great. Yeah. Because it's such a historic event, you know. I like, guess, man. To, I hope to so. To see the, listen to those songs live again. Yeah. It's not 
something you can do you every day. No, no, no. <laughs> so I think that Tuscon is not preparing that that volcano, volcano what stuff. What the fuck is that? So he's gonna explain, but explicar aquí qué es ese volcano. <laughs> That's the vapor, the vapors of the wax. So it's no combustion, it's all straight. So I'm we're gonna, gonna try it. I'm gonna warn you. We're gonna try it. I'll try it. Yeah, just a hit. Be gentle with me, because this wax shit kicks me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to push it. Yeah. How much? Ooh. Keep smoking? <laughs> Now you got it. Now you got it. Pure flavor. Sabor. Sabor, cabrón. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry, Phil. All right, shit's about to get real. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> Christ. So you said that that uh, that tour is like an honest tribute to the Abbott brothers and for the legacy. Uh, yes, yes, yes. They, of all people, the Abbott brothers, Vince and Dime, they wanted these songs to be fucking forever, and that's the important thing. And they are. They are forever, but I'm still here. Yeah. You know, I'm still here. So you can do something about it. Well, I want to <laughs> sing. You know, it's those are my songs as well. So of course, you know, it it it, it feels right. You know, I wouldn't do it if it did felt wrong. Hey, I, I would not fucking. It's the do right it. time. The people that, want it, and I got the right people with me yeah. because you got to understand the other bands that I'm in. Most of them are established bands. It would not be right if Dow was playing band. That made no sense. Yeah. You know, or any other fucking band that, that I did. You know, so. The illegals, uh, they stepped up to the plate the way I see it. You know? Yeah. Because we we want it to be an extreme metal, that death metal band, but grindcore, whatever you want to call it. Just an extreme band. Uh, but man, they learned those Pantera songs fucking damn good. Yeah. Very fucking good. And uh, the sound, once again, big prop to Yeah, them, the band sounds really, really tight on those songs. Yeah, man. Let's talk about and minor. Ooh. Woo! Because I saw that you just play in yeah. Cycle Las Vegas, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, what's all this new project about? More chill, more uh, acoustic, or whatever? I guess so. Yeah? Uh, but it's oddly enough the oldest music that yeah. I've ever done, you know, some of it. Uh, yeah, really dark. Yeah. Yeah. Just go on ask there, the bong. So be our guest. Send nuestro. Invitado y prueba el bonk del Chascón. Chascón, ¿qué le estás poniendo ahí? Live resin. Un poquito. Solo un poquito. Poquito. Todo por Guacahuí TV. Poquito. Oh, he's fucking me, man. So that live resin actually is uh, wax done with uh, a live plant, so that's why it tastes like like that. It tastes great, and it gets you really high. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Bueno, sigue fumando live resin. Es más sin nada. Viva. Did you just wear my hair? Yes. Motherfucker. <laughs> Honestly, the highest I've been in forever. I'm so fucking stoned. What a fucking awesome concept. <laughs> it is. Yeah, self medication. Man. Yeah, self medication. Yeah. So I, I wanted to speak about that because everybody in the weed world, uh, it's more used to use the recreational use of marijuana, yeah. but of course we have the medical use of marijuana. There's my and I, I think that probably for you it's also 
like medicine because in the past, of course, you have dealt with back pain and all I the bullshit. I deal with back pain every fucking day. Yeah. So, you know, uh, for me, right now, going the all natural route, as it's all natural as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. uh, for the last, I guess, year and a half, okay. solid really dedicated to it I quit drinking uh, what three years ago or something like that almost four now so uh, yeah the weed is important man it's important I think it keeps you like more chilled up and also focused maybe uh, yeah 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 exactly uh, when you're especially when you're writing music or yeah. doing music creating music For me, I love the pot because yeah. it does it, it does help me focus, like you say. Okay. But <clears throat> you know, imagine each project that I have. Each band has its own sound. They yeah. all sound unique. You know, that way I can focus on the style of the band and how you take that style and expand it. You know, under its own genre maybe even branch out, I don't know. Uh, creating music and with with pot is, is the way to yeah. go. And I've always known that since I was a kid, even listening to music. Yeah, it's a know, different experience. Big time. It's a, yeah, yeah. When I was younger, you know, you could blare something on the stereo in front of me, but until I smoked weed, that's when I locked down and listened. Yeah. That's when I would be like, oh, yeah. wow. This is amazing. I feel the power <laughs> of this, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody good over there? Yeah. Good. Thanks, people. Yeah. I don't, I don't listen to anybody. They, 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 I think they are stoned. They found the cave before me. Yeah. We have everything here: sugar, weed, water. It's the work of world. Amen. So, um, <laughs> the farmer. The oh, farmer. Job's gone. <laughs> So before you told me about, because I'm sure so many years on the road, so many years in the music business, so many adventures, and I'm sure you have pretty good weed anecdotes on the road. Was, God, I wish I could remember the city, but let's just put it this way. It was about the middle 90s. I was on the tour with Panto. And it was a town that no one ever played. So we didn't know what kind of reception we'd have, attendance or anything. We, we didn't know any fucking thing. It was the middle of winter too. It was cold outside. And I guess I just woke up. I was on the tour bus and the day was you know, kind of slow, but it was early in the afternoon and uh, this kid, Uh, one of the roadies came up to me and said, Phil, there's two kids outside and, and they want to, they, they want tickets, they want passes to the show. They brought you a present. And I was like, all right, you know, what the fuck? You know, that's fine. You know, get them in the show. I don't care. What's the present? Man, they handed me a fucking bag about this big rolled up paper bag and I opened it up and it had, it, it was like three pounds of weed <laughs> and it was good weed. Tres <laughs> libras. Uh, fucking, Give yeah, it medio, easy, <laughs> man. It was a brick of awesome <laughs> weed, man. There's two fucking kids and it was a great show. So yeah, I still can't remember the name of the town. Um, What time is it? It's What did you do to my guys? What have you done, sir? So. Vamos a seguir con el volcano. Chascón, explica un poco el volcano de que, cómo funciona. Que como no hay combustión, no te, no te da tan fuerte. You know, so, what I've noticed even on a recreational level from my guys here, uh, yeah. from the illegals, 
Steve Taylor blue and I, and later on Mike uh, for sure and God Derek too. All these motherfuckers I've noticed an uptick of technology that's yeah, available right. different Great. ways. The wax, you know, they turned me on to the wax. I never yeah. smoked fucking wax before. So, oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's bueno para ti, Phil. Uh, Te va a ser bueno. Fúmalo. Come for it. <laughs> Vamos. Esto es Waka Weed con Phil and Selmo y the Illegals aquí fumando con sus con the farmer, el volcano. Wait a minute. Bless you. You are blessed by the Waka Weed Church. That you are our honest. Good weed. You are our first. That's the best shit I've smoked in what a year? Dude, that's awesome. That is. Well, oh, since the left. This is fucking. Bravo, Jets. This is so impressive. So fucking impressive. Thanks for the inviting me to the cave. Of course. Let's talk about other projects you have. Because you have Housecore Records. Yeah. And also you used to do the Housecore Film Festival. Yeah, man. Well, I really like that project. Because I know I'm also like you, like a big horror film yeah, fan. Yeah. And um, are you thinking about doing it? That doing it again? You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You we want to do it. I want to do it right, and you know, take a good cold stare at it and make sure everything's right before we do it. But yeah, well, we'd love to do it. Uh, even man, I would love to do it even on a maybe more intimate, small scale, yeah. just a couple rooms. Yeah, you know. Because normally, how many, five. how many people man, go? It's t it, okay. Rest in peace, uh, Corey Mitchell. But uh, the guy, my the guy who uh, yeah, helped your partner, him, my, on par the my partner, yes. With the film fest, uh, he was a big, big dreamer. Mm -hmm. And man, the first couple years, we had tons of bands and and oh, tons of films and tons of different categories of, of you know uh, the awards for the show. And uh, God, man, uh, I didn't expect all that. You know, I did not expect all that. I expected it. Happened. Okay, but take a look at it. Like even with Pantera, the success of Pantera grew organically. Yeah. Then I started the House of Shock in New Orleans, mm -hmm. the haunted house. That grew organically. So yeah. that's how I envisioned the the horror film fest, man. And for me, it was like we with you know Corey's core the way Corey did it and and wanted to do it and did do it uh it felt like you know we shot our fucking wad a little bit early for me and don't get me wrong they were great festivals and great, it, they were fucking awesome everything about them were great uh I just like I said going into a new year of it I want to yep. make sure it's as good as it can fucking be, man. And true. Needs to be real. Needs to be true. Needs to be thematic. Right. Whether we're whether we're showing giallo films or black and white monstrosities from <laughs> James Whale to Mario Baba, yeah. man. I want it to be right. Yeah. So what's what's your favorite classic horror film? Right now I'm going through a big giallo trip, uh, okay. the Italian horror. Yeah. I say it's First and foremost, the king, the god, Mario Bava. Mario Bava, yeah. But he, I can also see where Bava was influenced by Alfred Hitchcock and Roman Polanski. Yeah. And they're great. So, so, but Giallo takes a great blend of art, yeah. film, and, and horror, and soundtrack that is so fucking important, man. So, Giallo, and, and I love the beauty of black and stark black and yeah. white, like James Whale, okay. who did uh, Son of Frankenstein, and um, my favorite, The Old Dark House, 1943 or 45, yeah. one of those. Uh, but man, the power of those films, man, the atmosphere that it creates, 
you talk you mentioned N minor before yeah. that whole yeah. attitude of film influences me to with, with N minor, you know. Way, yeah. You yeah, know, it's really actually now that you mention it's really cinematic. Everyone uh, says yeah. that, man. It's really like it could be like a soundtrack. Shit, sure. yeah. fucking yeah, somebody give me a call. Yeah. Especially that makes more more people will be into it. You know? I don't know. I we'll see. So. I'm keeping an open mind. It's just frustrating. We only have the two songs out there, man, because we have everything. It's we you know we got almost three records worth of shit. Yeah. And speaking oh. of The illegals, man. The every we've been writing some stuff. Yeah, that's why. And, and we're gonna get in a room too. Yeah, that's why. And, and I wanted to ask third, you about the, that. Yeah, the third illegals record is gonna sound. Yeah. Completely different so, than the last one, as it should be. So, in the same time that you are touring with with the illegals and playing Pantera, you also are writing new songs. They and, write all the time, and that's nice. the best thing about. A band like this, man, yeah. is creativity yeah. and, and, and everyone. Sweet. So the third the third album is coming from the Phil and the Yeah, fuck yeah, it's going to come. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Especially after touring this whole year and having everybody see us, you know, give, we'll give them something to listen to. And I, 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 I believe me, I understand that the first two records, especially the second record, Uh, the very extreme record yeah, in, its, really in its own right. So I'm aware of that. And I'm also aware that heavy metal comes in a lot of different styles. And I've, I've covered a whole shitload of them styles. So <clears throat> I want to take that knowledge. I want to take that experience. And I want to do a new record with the illegals too. So It's amazing. We will, vamos a estar aquí esperando ese nuevo tercer disco de Los Ligas. Vamos a estar esperando aquí en Wakawit para escucharlo. I'm fucking stoned too now. Sorry. <laughs> This happened. You have a lot of projects and you have also uh, a score, the black metal band, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott. That, hey, that, what about this guy? Look at, that, look at the violence on these guys' faces. Look, the, the danger in this room just went bananas. No, man, I, the new scour, uh, yep. I need to sing on the new scour, and I'll be okay. straight up, I've told him, this is, I, I don't hide it from anybody. I need to be motivated. Yeah. I want, I want to do the song service, I want to do it right. I need to get in that frame of mind, lyrically and stylistically, you know, I, it's a, It's a band that, you know, it's, I, I use my voice with a different, in a different way. So it's it's also attitude, man. It needs to have attitude. So right now, <clears throat> with playing and jamming with N minor so much, I've been writing a lot with N minor because that's what happens when we get in the room. So I'm focused on that uh, and boom all year touring with the illegals, you got to keep your eye on the ball. In other words, we've got a set of music to play. So that is first and foremost on tour. Play the shit you fucking know and play it good. Don't fuck around. So that takes energy. It takes concentration. I'm fucking 51 years old. You motherfuckers are getting me high. <laughs> yeah. I need to focus on one thing or another. Daryl Lee, be patient, and I know you are, but just come on, man. Give the old man a break. I'm going to tell the story. Okay. I moved to Texas in 19... I moved to Texas in 1987 to join Pantera. Uh, we did pretty good. Uh, I think I moved home about the middle of... I moved back to New Orleans about the middle of Vulgar Display of Power Tour. And, uh, you mind if I smoke? No, smoke. Are you sure, or is that an insult to the table? No, it's okay. Be our guest. It's just, I've been, fl I've been flying all day. Don't worry. <sighs> oh, it's good. Anyway, so Pantera had popularity. We were doing fucking good. Uh, MTV, all that shit. It, it, it was going on. And... <laughs> I was at home one day and we went and took a drive on the lakefront out in New Orleans. And it, it, this New Orleans attitude 
the hometown New Orleanian attitude. It's brilliant. We were sitting out enjoying the weather and this guy walks up to us and I guess maybe he looked a little familiar, I don't know. But he says to me, say, brah, that's what, that's how they talk in New Orleans, brah, what's up? Say, Phil, brah, I heard you got a band, man. It's one of them people. They don't know anything <laughs> about Pantera. They've heard maybe I'm in a band, but yeah, say, brah. He says to me with desperation in his eyes, he was like really concerned. He said, and this is, I'm describing New Orleans here. <laughs> the mentality of New Orleans. He says, Phil, man, I'm real happy for you, but don't tell me you're playing. Don't, don't tell me you're singing in one of them raw, raw, raw bands, huh, bro? <laughs> You gotta love ignorance. <laughs> ignorance worship. God, I'm high. Fucker. That was yeah. a terrible story. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it wasn't gonna turn out too, but I had to finish. I was like, there's no punchline here. We're in fucking Latin America. They're well, not gonna I'm understand I'm the I'm new world. Yeah. Okay, uh, ahora estáis acá en Latinoamérica. What are you expecting of the following days? Uh, you know the what I, I know what they're fucking gonna do. And I love them for it. And I'm gonna try and shake everybody's hand and sign everybody's motherfucking autograph. But I'm gonna try. And, and, and smoke, it, never, it never happens. And smoke every fucking weed. Dude. <laughs> no, I gotta slow down after tonight. This is probably... <laughs> this is good for the, the, the wheels are greased. <laughs> What's gonna be in the near future for you with the legals? So what are the near future plans? Touring through Fucking Slayer. Slayer. Oh well, you? that is next. Are yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slayer, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When? I thought he was talking about after Slayer, all this. After this shit. What is happening? Yeah, 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 we're touring with Slayer, man. Where in the US? Yeah. Oh, wow. We can talk about it now. Their last yeah, tour. Man. Now we're talking. Yeah. Yeah, man. So a, how how do you feel about it? Like being in the one uh, this tour with the player, fuck, man. Like Lay and Derry. Okay. For me, growing up, I, I don't want to. Okay, I'll just put it this way. My favorite California bands were probably the most influential. One, or two of the most influential early in my life. Black Flag. Yeah. Slayer. Both bands just ominous and feared and unique and boundary pushing. Similarities in the att solo attacks. Oh, man. Uh, I can't say enough about Slayer. Uh, to me, uh, when Hello Waits came out, it changed everything, man. It changed fucking everything. And when I talk to Kerry King about that record, it's it's interesting what he says, and it's true. So fucking true. They were influenced big time at the time. Uh, when they wrote Hello Waits and uh, the EP before, what is that one? Uh, second thing, what is it? Haunting the Chapel. Haunting the Chapel EP. When they did those, they were so influenced by Merciful Fate. Yeah, uh, totally. You can hear it on Captor of Sin. That's yeah. the beginning of Corpse Without a Soul. Yeah. It's exact, man. And that's fine. So, my Slayer, one of the greatest bands on. Orlando and Slayer. Guys, during this legal, you can talk to the mic. Uh, how, is the, how is this experience for you like the playing these songs from Pantera, we feel like some leaving on tour with Slayer. What is it about? Like, how do you feel about it? I love it. We're the my first gig with the illegals was right here in Santiago. That's true. So I just walk out to this fucking madness two nights in a row. I mean, you know, 
For you, for, for example, because you're playing all the excited. all the oh, riffs, yeah. all the solos of Dimebag, it's <coughs> really hard to put in the suits, and I have to say that, man, look at congratulations monster. for the work because it's amazing. It's, it's the mustache. Sure. It's the mustache. Yeah, it's the mochete mustache. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. For me, like, uh, I would say it's it's beyond a dream come true. Far beyond. It's still it's it's far, far beyond, beyond a, dream. a dream. It's just uh, it's very it's very surreal. You know, it's to to get up there and to be able, like like Phil says, to be able to pay tribute to uh, you know to the Abbey Brothers. You know, being a Texas guy. You know, that was plastered all over my walls growing up as a kid. So to be able to be with Philip and, and the illegals paying tribute to the brothers. And then on top of that, to be jamming with Slayer. I mean, it's 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 super, super surreal. We're playing Madison Square Garden. We're playing uh, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. It's just we're we're a, a wrecking ball of brotherhood and we're we're ready to take over and and push it and all for one and one for all in this camp and it's 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 amazing man it's awesome oh yeah you can talk about this day experience uh, too. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. yeah i mean i never thought i'd be playing these songs when no. man uh, I, I never thought I'd be the dude up there playing with these dudes, but I, I'm happy to be contributing with everybody up here, man. It's awesome, man. Amazing. Respect for that. You hear this? Yeah. This is a. Yeah, let's give a applause to the Legos. An applause for the Legos. That's a, <coughs> a humble group, easy to work with. I mean, Aside from the raging violence that you see behind you. No, no, no. They're easy to work with, man. Everybody's so chill and we're all on the same page, man. So I'm, I'm really interested to see what this new record will sound like. Yeah. Because we've, we're all over the place stylistically, which was the point. So to add a little style, to subtract a little style, to fuck things up mathematically, I'm ready to go. We have a bunch yeah. of things. We just need to put the puzzle together. Yeah. Staremos. We were. Together. We are gonna be waiting for it for the third album, and we're gonna be again smoking here with all of you next time. I'd love to be here. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah. Both yeah. Thanks for you. Man. It's been an honor to have you here. Ha sido un honor tener aquí a Phil and Selmo. Hmm. The Pantera, a los Legals, aquí en Waka with Conchis Con, the former. Gracias, Estamos amigos. acá. Cabrones, putos con más. Recuerden, yeah. síganos en las redes: Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Somos Waka with TV, motherfuckers. Waka with TV, goddammit. He's had my lighter the whole time. <laughs>